Hey there viewers, SunGod2009. It's been a long time since I've posted a video up on YouTube. I've been very busy as of lately, so I haven't got around to putting any videos at all. You know, things have been going crazy, I've been dealing with life, such as that, such as such. <laughs> but as you can see on my desktop, this doesn't look like Windows 10, and we all know this is not Windows 10. Um, so I'm running most of my stuff on uh, Linux Mint Cinnamon, my favorite distribution uh, of Linux. Yeah, we have a little something going on here, which is HTOP. I can see everything that's running. Um, I'm not using that much CPU. I'm using a little, uh, a little bit above on the RAM, but it's not that bad. Uh, my widget with calculator. <laughs> guess this is how I like to uh, use my workflow eh? and then there's my uh, disk space which is pretty cool uh, on my uh, on the panel I got the weather app where I can check my weather anytime I can update uh, the app or applets as they call it desk desklets and extensions and themes I love this theme, it's pretty cool, it's very slick, I love it, it kind of reminds me of Windows 7, but again, this is the uh, taste I went for, um, here's my notification, um, I know I have some applications running, I can always close that out, and I got the printer, and here's my, here's the update right here, which is pretty cool. We got some updates, you can refresh. Probably should have put that pushed that drop down, eh? <laughs> Here's the kernel. You can put it use any kernel revisions and stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, here are my drives, of course. I'm not gonna open them because I don't want anyone seeing my data. Now we go up to this button right here, which is kind of, which is a button I changed. This is not the original Linux Mint button. I ch changed it up a bit. Um, here's what my panel looks like. Very straightforward. Um, and as you can see, I'm sliding through. All I can, if I ever want to access a program, all I got to do is go into that particular category and just with the click of a button, boom, I'm good. I like that. I like this in Linux Mint. I think it's the best um, operating system out there. Um, I like Windows 7, but it is a good replacement for Windows 7. Uh, it's far superior to the Windows 10 operating system combined. Um, there's where my Steam game is, there's Thunderbird and all that. Um, I do have Lutris on here that I'm trying some games out. It's pretty cool. I got Dolphin Emulator if I want to play some Game Cubes. It's pretty cool. I like this. Really, it's really, it's really nice. I customize it in a way that I like them. Um, now here's the original Linux Mint terminal. I don't use that much. I'm pretty much using Terminator. This is my favorite, which is one of my favorite. Uh, uh, command line interface it's pretty cool we're going into settings we got some pretty straightforward settings menu if you want to change background go into here here's different backgrounds I mean here's the one that Linux is meant to shift with and since this is uh, Ul Uliana here is the pictures gorgeous pictures I like those but I like the background I have. Here's some retros. I've got some of those from the Synaptic Package Manager, which is pretty cool. But I've also added some from the older distributions because, hey, they still have some beautiful pictures on there too. I mean, I, I just love the pictures that Mint um, added. It really looks nice. I mean, just look at that gorgeous pictures <laughs> so breathtaking I gotta give it to Mint they are really they're really good when it comes to getting pictures man I could just 
drool just by looking at these pictures for hours. <laughs> it's, it's beautiful. Shout out to Mint for making such a beautiful pictures. <laughs> well, getting some beautiful pictures for the background. Um, I don't use effects that much, but it is there if you ever want to do it. Use it. It's pretty cool. And of course, I can choose to customize. But I, I really don't use it that much, so it, I really don't care. I used to use stuff with uh, Compass. Um, I would love to run Compass on Mint. Um, I've been having a tough time doing it. So I'm not even going to bother. Hey, it's a small thing. You can change whatever fonts. I mean, here they are. <laughs> Ubuntu and stuff. You can change any fonts you like. It's really, it's really cool. I like this stuff. But I don't mess with it that much. I'll leave that alone. This is where I went to change my themes. As you can see, you got the mint. Uh, you got the dark mode. You got the uh, light. You got uh, the X uh, version. Eh, not a fan of that. I like this. Um, you can change any icon. They're all right here. And you can change the button. Again, that's right here. You can change it on any colors you want. And you can change the mouse to whatever colors you like. Doesn't really matter. And here are some of the uh, some of the themes right here. I went with the so the theme I'm running right now is the new mix cinnamon uh, semi-transparent. I like it because it's really it really makes it look nice. The uh, Ubuntu Touch is good too, but I really like this uh, new mix a lot more. It really gives you that Windows 7 type of vibe. <laughs> and if you if you don't like them, here we go to Add Remove. There's plenty of options on here. Oh, I'm scrolling so fast like an idiot. I'm like I don't know how any of you can keep up. <laughs> yeah, there's so many themes on here. It's it's really crazy. I know they're going to be adding some more, but, oh man, so many options, so many choices. And then there's your settings, you can um, change your scroll bars and stuff. It's pretty sweet. Um, let's go back. And of course, you got accessibility, account details. There we go. Picture, I haven't even bothered to put a picture on here, have I? I'm gonna put this on because hey, I like cats. But you can put whatever pictures you want. And there's it. there's my name, and along with my super secret password, which is definitely not one two three. <laughs> um, here are the applets, um, stuff you can add to your uh, uh, panel here. I, as you can see, I used the force quit. If I, uh, if some of the application freezes, I can always click on that, and it will. Um, kill it. Um, then there's the restart cinnamon which will restart uh, cinnamon. Of course there's the spice which is what I have up here, the spice updater which updates all of it, the desk clip, the applet, and themes and stuff. And then there's the weather which is right here. It's pretty cool. I like that. I couldn't do that in Windows 10 now, could I? <laughs> And then here we go changing the time and date. You can set, if you're into military time, you have the option to select the military time. And of course, you pick your time zone. It all depends on your taste. And of course, there's your desk clip, which is similar to widget. And if you don't like what you, what's on here, you can, as always, you can go over here to the download and select what you want. And boom, which is what I have on my desktop. It's really nice. And of course, we got, um, then there's the desktop. You can uh, select how you want your desktop to look. You can turn these off, turn them on. Doesn't matter. And then you can add some extensions. I mean, if you like to do the desktop cube like you would in Compass, that would work. Honestly, I don't care much about these. I rather, I prefer to use Compass because the effects on there, I really like them. I used to use them when uh, Ubuntu 10.10 .10 was around. 
it really make the desktop look really awesome. But, you know. Uh, here's your general settings, which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't mess around with that, but you can mess around with it. There's hot corner, there's panels, there's privacies and stuff. But you get the idea. And also here's the drivers, if you ever need to install some drivers. Let's put in my super secret password, get to, uh, get to have a look and see if I have any drivers updates available. Probably don't. Oh, one close. Yep. I don't have any browsers up there. Okay. There we go. And then we go into firewall. Of course, put in your secret password. You can enable them. I can. You can disable them. I haven't used it that much, so I'm gonna keep it off. I don't have time to mess around with it, but I will soon. I should. But we'll see. We'll see when the bridge crosses. Um. You can change your login however you want. You can change the pictures. You can stretch them. You can set this thing to um, uh, what is it? Automatically log in or manually log in. It doesn't matter. I mean, so many useful features on here that you couldn't do in Windows 10 makes you like want to say why Microsoft why uh, and of course you can go mess around with the source list user group it's pretty cool and then there's the disk here are all the disk um, I like uh, the other thing I like about it is it has that uh, oh, hang on this one? No, hang on. Give me a minute. Bear with me. Here we go. Smart uh, self test right there. Um, I'm assuming it's not going to do it with both of these because they're both um, NVMe SSDs. And it, and the, uh, I don't know if it's a compatibility or a software. If the software is not open source for Linux. I'm not sure what the story is with that, but you can go in there and check the smart, do the smart test. Um, you can edit the, uh, you can uh, ramp up the RPMs or whatever if you have those mechanical drives. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, and it's great if you're doing data recovery as well. It's really nice. Um, and of course wireless uh, stuff like that. Now here we go. System info as you can see I'm running a uh, Linux Mint uh, Cinnamon 20 with a uh, Cinnamon version 4.6 I am using a Zaymot kernel this is um, basically this is based off of the guide I um, I picked up from Chris Titus Tech's Ultimate Gaming Guide check out his channel it's pretty good. Um, his guide is pretty straightforward. I did have an issue with Wine and um, Lutris, but I managed to get around it. But he put out a good guide build right there. Um, I encourage you all, if you want to uh, build your ultimate gaming guide, check out Chris Titus Tech's channel and go from there. But, um, Overall, I love Linux Mint. It really helps with my workflow and stuff. It's very simple, straightforward. I love it. <laughs> I can't complain. And it's it. And I I'm gonna be sticking with it because it's for somebody like me who just came from Windows. Um, I'm not a stranger to Linux. I used Linux before. I put a video on Ubuntu that I used to mess around with in the past, and I turned it into a Mac goes to show you my track history of um, being on Linux is <laughs> no complete surprise it's pretty cool I love it I love Linux and I can see the future in Linux um, one of the many reasons why I will never go to Windows 10 but I do have Windows 10 on this particular computer um, it's dual booted unfortunately uh, unfortunately um, 
the only reason why I have it around is just in case if I need to run some Windows applications and stuff like that that is designed just for Windows I can do that but um, overall overall I like it I love it um, this is becoming my daily driver and I am going to start using this for a long time um, speaking of that I am long overdue uh, I'm on uh, my gaming desktop I'm gonna do a review on it soon uh, I have not posted a video on the changes that I made to it so be on the lookout for those soon other than that um, bye for now thank you for watching if you want to see any more videos please like comment and subscribe and subscribe to my friend Duke Stay Toxic and I'll continue making more videos as soon as I'm done having fun with this Ashton Martin Vanquish. <laughs>